I have a strategy for you that will make it easier for you to get more leads, customers, sales, and profits by focusing on the right thing in your marketing. It's called the Trojan Horse Marketing Strategy, and you've probably heard of the, 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 the story of the Trojan Horse. It was the Greeks were invading the city of Troy, or they were, they were trying to invade the city of Troy, and they were in this battle, and they were uh, you know, basically locked in battle trying to invade Troy and they couldn't get in. And so they said, hey, we give up, we give up. And they built this gigantic wooden horse and they they presented it to the city of Troy. They like rolled it up outside their gates and they said, hey, you know, just as a, as a peace offering, we would like to give you this gift, this, this gigantic wooden horse. And the, the Trojans, the, the people who lived in the city of Troy, they rolled this horse into the city square. And um, what they didn't know was that inside the horse was a team of Greek soldiers. And these, uh, these Greek soldiers waited until the middle of the night and they snuck out of a secret door, a trap door in the, uh, in the big wooden horse and they unlocked the gates and they let in the Greeks. And that's how the Greeks um, successfully ended up invading the city of Troy and winning the Trojan War. Um, so what does this have to do with marketing? How is this a marketing strategy? Well, oftentimes, so, so um, oftentimes as, as marketers, as business people, as offer creators, we want to give people what they actually need. Like we learn something about our market and we decide like, hey, this is, this is like what people really need here to get the result that they want. But what people need and what they want are often two very different things. And so these, these, uh, the, we struggle because as the creator of the product who really understands the market, understands the problem, understands the solution, and who really wants to help someone, we really want to sell them what they need. But we can often struggle in that situation because they don't like they don't need or they don't respond to what they need. They respond to what they want. They they buy what they want. And a good example of that is um, like in in copywriting, people absolutely um, just want, they basically want their copy to be written for them. And so they want things like templates and swipe files and all of that stuff that um, that it just comes automatically. Like they, you barely have to put any effort in and you have a, a winning sales letter or VSL script or landing page or whatever. The problem is that those templates don't even necessarily get you, um, like they, they don't work. They don't work. You have to understand what's going on behind those templates to actually be able to write good copy. Even if you're going to use the templates, even as if you're going to be able to use an outline, what you have to be able to do is you have to be able to to like learn to internalize the thinking behind the outline, the thinking behind the template, and then use that with the the template or the swipe file or whatever as a as a reminder maybe of what you're going to do in your own ad, but not a fill in the blank, you know, magic formula for writing copy. And yet, if you're trying to sell copywriting to copywriters, if you tell them, hey, you need to learn to think for yourself, I'm sorry, people don't want to. They want somebody else to have done all the thinking for them. And so, um, so there is a major benefit in copywriting, in the process of selling copywriting that is paralleled in just about every other product category. Um, there's a major benefit to finding a way to present what people want, which is the templates, the shortcuts, all of that. And then when you hand that to them, you also make sure that you deliver the valuable advice of, you know, this is a starting point. You have to think for yourself. This can be a great reference, et cetera. So you deliver all that stuff on the back end, but you sell them what they want 
which is you present this, this pretty package of this gift that they are happy to take in. And it's only after they have taken in that gift that the, um, that you deliver them the, the complete solution that you know that they actually need to achieve their goals. And, you know, in, in just about every market, um, basically what people want, they want things, um, that allow them to get their, their, their desired result fast, easy, and free, fast, easy, free, fast, easy, free, fast, easy, free. And so they don't, want to have to think they don't want to have to do work they don't want to have to do anything they just want the result that they want fast easy free they want like the magic pill john carlton teaches the um there's you know there's this spectrum here and on one side on one side you have cold hard reality okay and on the other side you have this magic pill where like they can take it uh, they take the pill, they go to sleep, they wake up rich. They take the pill, they go to sleep, they wake up like fit, he- healthy, and sexy. Uh, they take the pill, they they go to sleep, they have the most wonderful relationship in the world. Versus cold hard reality, which is like, hey, if you want to have a fit body, you have to mind every bit of food that you put in your body. You have to be consistently weighing yourself and like... Um, and 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 being at least aware of how the foods that you eat are um, are contributing to your your weight. You have to be consistently working out, exercising, lifting heavy weights, things like that. There's there's all of this like cold hard reality. And yes, some people succeed by selling cold hard reality, but very often the people who have the biggest success fastest are the people who who are over here selling the magic pill. And um, and so if you want to be ethical in this and you recognize cold hard reality and you recognize that your market wants to buy the magic pill, uh, the way that you do that is you essentially have to deliver your market cold hard reality through the trojan horse of the magic pill that they're willing to buy and so um you 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 in your marketing you find a way to present the simplest mechanism to their success but then once they have converted once they've become a customer once they have brought that gift of the wooden horse in through the gates you have to make sure that you do also deliver the truth of everything involved and are you going to lose some customers um, after you do that if sure okay Um, but the customers that you lose are the ones who probably would have been terrible customers in the end anyway because they only wanted the magic pill and whether or not you actually delivered what they need uh, they're not going going to get the results from what they want so uh, sell, them, sell them what they want and give them what they need is the Trojan horse approach to marketing. And it is how you deal with the fact that as human beings, we want everything fast, easy, and free. We want results without work. We, uh, we, we, we want the, all the benefits that are possible without any of the, the downside or difficulty in achieving them. What do you think? Um, I would love to know how valuable you find this as a lesson. Leave a comment below. Let me know on a scale of one to 10, how valuable did you find it and why? Like, what is your takeaway? How can you use this? What perspective did this give you on your current sales message or your upcoming sales message? Leave that comment below. Let me know. Click the like button before you go also um, so that you get more content like this delivered to you. Also, so the magical algorithms of the internet know to share this with more people like you who would find it valuable. You can also share it with people directly and subscribe before you go. You can subscribe here. You can also subscribe at BreakthroughMarketingSecrets.com to get my daily emails Monday through Friday, including these videos and articles on marketing, copywriting, business building, selling, and a whole lot more. Um, And also, I'll include a link in the description if you are interested in learning to write copy fast and you want some templates plus all the thinking behind them, uh, my high-velocity copywriting course is absolutely the place to go. So I'll include a link in the description to that. It's part of my BTMS Insiders training library. My name is Roy Fur. This has been a video issue of Breakthrough Marketing Secrets. I always aim for 10 out of 10 value. I hope that you've gotten it here. And uh, I look forward to seeing you again in your next video. See you soon. Bye.